what's going on and welcome back to the Tubal Cruise Cycling in Japan channel. In today's video I'm going to be introducing my full entire 20 kilometer commute. So I live on the east side of Nagoya, Japan and now I'm commuting towards the center of the city in Nagoya. So for those of you who are new to the channel, my name's Cruz. I'm a cyclist. I live here and work here in Nagoya, Japan. Actually, I live on the east side of Nagoya, Japan over in Nagakute, and that's where we are right now. And pretty much right when we cross this street right here, we'll be crossing into the Nagoya border. But it's actually about a full 20 kilometer commute for me to get to my work. And I really love my commute route. I showed a little bit of it in another video recently and some people wanted to see the full video, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm not gonna talk for the entire commute because it's gonna take me about 45, 50 minutes or so. So I'll be talking in the beginning and in the end, and there might be a few small parts during the middle of the commute that I'll be talking, but for the most part, I won't be talking. So uh, <laughs> if you have the time to watch this full video, enjoy. There's a lot of cool little unique things along the way. As you can see right now, we're going down a very busy street. There's all these cars lined up and backed up at all the traffic lights. And that just looks absolutely horrible. I'm really happy to be on my bike for my commute. I'm really happy to have a great route to get there. The beginning right now is a little bit busy. There are a lot of lights, but a few kilometers in, we'll be getting onto a river path with no lights. And I can pretty much ride almost the entire way to work without having to stop, which is really great. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. If you like these kinds of videos, make sure to give this video a like and leave a comment down below on anything you thought was interesting or if you have any questions. So at this point, you turn off the main road and you go sort of parallel to this main highway. And this part's pretty nice because there's really no traffic. There are some cars that randomly park in the side of the street here. I don't think everyone can do that. You have to get some sort of official parking there, but occasionally see some cars parked here. And these sort of side roads can be a little bit annoying and dangerous because there are these sort of stop signs. I always make sure to at least yield through them. That's one thing, unfortunately, that Japanese roads are famous for is just lots of places you need to stop, be it stop lights, stop signs, and just lots of intersections, lots of people. These first few kilometers are pretty much the worst part of the entire commute just gets better from here. And you may notice there's kind of a mix of residential and commercial areas here. So some of these buildings on the right side are, a majority of them are houses, places where people live, but there's also a couple different warehouses and different businesses going on there. So I'm not really sure if Japan has that strict of regulations on their sort of zoning laws with with commercial and non-commercial properties. So if anyone knows about that, let me know down in the comments. Thank you. 
So this is one of the busy crossings that I have. You can go onto this sort of one-way road for cars, but it's actually only one way for cars, so pedestrians and bikes can actually go both ways. It says that on the signs there. But you can see there's poles on both sides of the street. Japanese people always walk and move on the opposite side of the road that you should be moving on. So most cars, bikes, and people should be on the left, but walkers generally go on the opposite side. That turns pretty common in America as well too, but uh, most everyone does that in Japan. So fortunately this section is not too long. We can pop over under this little bridge here and get over onto the correct flow of traffic. And this side there's really not too many cars. And they've actually increased a small little pedestrian area on the right, but that doesn't go the entire way. Lots and lots of residential areas. Next, we're going to pop onto this other little main road here. And right to the left here, there's a Taiyaki shop. Unfortunately, it's closed when I leave from my commute, and it's already closed when I come back from my commute. So I can never get a snack during my commute, which is a huge bummer. And this road is actually a little bit dangerous. There is this small little path that you can go on for the bike, so there is that little extra safety there. But I actually crashed on this road a couple weeks ago. If you watched one of my recent race vlogs, I mentioned that I crashed, some car pulled out right in front of me, just passed me and turned right in front of me. And that happened right here, right at this intersection. The car just pulled right exactly like the same timing right here and just turned right in front of me without signaling. And yeah, I just went down pretty hard. But I really wanted to report the guy, but unfortunately didn't have a camera going. He drove off. I memorized his plate at the time, but I just figured like if I called in I was gonna miss the race and if I didn't call in I could make the race so uh, <laughs> entering the race was a bit more of a priority for me then and fully healed now so no real problems but I make sure to ride as safe as possible as defensively as possible as I can during my commute uh, we're gonna pop over here on the right side since we got a right turn coming up people waiting for the bus here and the light just turned green so perfect timing here we go here another turn And on this left turn here, we begin our coordination with the river. So this is, I believe, is the Kanade River. And this is the river that I filmed my Sakura video a few weeks ago on. These trees were all just blooming with Sakura flowers, the cherry blossoms, and it was really, really beautiful. If you didn't see that video yet, make sure to go check it out. I'll link it up here. So now everything has changed to green. We're starting to get warmer weather, and it's going to be getting pretty hot soon. I'm actually on my long sleeve jerseys right now. It's actually pretty nice and cool this morning. So we've got an interesting little passageway here going under the bridge. Lots of people out today, lots of walkers, lots of people getting ready for school.
And we can actually continue on this path here if we go straight, but I choose to go on the main road because it's a little bit faster. There's lots of trees with their roots sort of growing in and pushing the cement up, so it's not the smoothest of paths up there. It's really narrow and there's a lot of walkers. There's a lot of walkers with their dogs, so it is not cycling friendly. And there's really no cars that go on this road down here, so it's a nice smooth alternative. So always cool to see all the different types of people that are commuting by bike. You'll see lots of people in full suits and even in the summer it's pretty crazy. You'll see lots of ladies in their dresses with their high heels and just all sorts of people commuting. Um, that's one of the great things about the culture here in Japan is bicycles are seen as a mode of transportation that anyone can use. Whereas in the US it's kind of seen more as a toy and people who commute by bikes are sort of looked down upon, but in Japan, it's kind of a normal thing, and pretty much everyone commutes by bike, so there's really no looking down on it. It's something that everyone does. It's viewed more or less as a positive thing, and people don't really look down on cyclists. But a lot of people maybe don't really like cycling that much, but they still do it. They just really don't like the exercise, they don't really like cy um, riding their bikes too much, but most people still do it. So we got to cross over here to the light and cross the official crossway there because the main road is blocked. And once we cross over here, we'll start to get onto the nicer part of the path. So the worst is behind us. I believe this is our last light that we have to wait for.
So this is during the, I believe, middle school or high school commute time. If I leave a little bit later, it's the elementary school commute time, and that's just horrible because there's hundreds of all these little elementary school kids just blocking all the paths, and you got to ride extra safe around them. So I try to leave earlier so I don't run into them. Here we go. We're popping on to the cycling path here and this one is a bit smoother but you can see it's still really narrow but we're up and elevated right now so we've got a nice view of the surrounding apartments and river and lots of people with their sort of regular bikes their mama charis this section is really popular with dogs people walking their dogs which is not a good combination because it is really narrow here but unfortunately no dogs to show you guys it seems for today This is one of my favorite little sections on the course, kind of a little bit of a mountain bike path. We've got this small little gravel downhill section, which is a little bit rough on the road bike with the slicks, but I mostly commute with my cyclocross bike. Today I'm on my road bike. And this guy here, he's here every morning cleaning out the bottom of the path down there, just making it really nice. A couple of people do that volunteer on this path and just maintain the different plants or flowers that are going on. There's a little garden down here that you'll see in a little bit. Where we're riding right now, there's some baseball fields over to the right. So when I ride back in the evening, there'll be some people practicing. There'll be some teams practicing baseball or soccer or different sports down there. And this part where I'm riding on right now, the, a lot of families will use this as sort of benches to sit down and stuff. And, I'm, and I, it makes me pretty upset because this is like a commute path that people are riding or walking on and people are using it to spectate for their sports and stuff. This part here is actually a little bit dangerous because cars can enter right here so you got to be careful that no cars are coming in and that's where they'll park for when they're doing their sports with their kids and they can't go through here these are the gates so once you go through these gates you're protected again right up here we've got the gardens where they're maintaining them so fortunately you can't really see it in the video because i'm going too fast but over here on the right they're maintaining these nice little garden areas this area right here to the left is actually where I do my cyclocross practice. You'll see there's some little stairs there and some flat grass sections that you can do some zigzags on. So in the winter, I'll be doing my cyclocross training here, my secret spot. And by now we're on the Yada River, the Yadagawa. So before we were on the Kanade River and we've joined onto a bigger river now. And so the path has also gotten bigger. So this is the average size for most of the path and from here on out, there's not too many people out on the course that you'll see, especially during the early morning and later evening commute times.
This is one other little off-road section that you got to go through. So unfortunately, the smooth road doesn't continue, but this is a nice little fun, spicy section of the commute. Uh, not that great again on the road bike, but it's pretty short and sweet, and the former mountain biker in me enjoys it. And once we get over here, we get a nice view of the river. We get really close to the river. And there's actually a train track set right in front of us in Bridge. You see there's a train going over right now from the right. So usually I see a train here every day, at least one, sometimes two. And when I come back at night, it's really beautiful with being lit up with the lights and everything. Here we go, there's the second train going the other way. And you hear the nice rumble of the tracks. One last little gravel section and we're back on some smooth pavement and the pavement here has gotten really wide. This is one of the more wide sections on the course. So the course is getting nicer now, but there's not too much for me to talk about. So I think I'm going to stop talking for now. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the commute and I'll see you guys at the end of the video if you're still watching.
So here we are nearing the end of the commute. There's actually a small little turn that you got to take here. So if you don't know about it, you'll miss it. And it's actually hard to see today because they cut the grass and they're blocking the path. So we got to turn left here and we're going to climb up and get on this bridge and cross over. There's a really nice view on the bridge here of the river and of the city. So we'll take a nice view of that. After this bridge, we got to get back on one of the main roads. So this is where we start to enter a more dangerous section again. These small, narrow river roads are actually really dangerous because lots of cars try to use them as alternatives to get around the busy main roads. So lots of cars use these roads as sort of speeding routes because there's no real traffic lights. So this is like the only place that they can actually drive for a decent amount of distance without having to get stopped at a light and it's really narrow, it's not really wide enough for cars to be going both ways, but there's cars speeding both directions, and it's a little bit dangerous, so I don't really like this section, but fortunately we're not on here too long. We pop back down onto the river path pretty soon. So here we go, we pop down onto the other river path here. So this now is the Shonai River, the Shonai Gawa path. You'll notice the ground color here is a bit different, it's a bit more reddish color. And this section is also pretty wide, but also a little bit starting to get overgrown with some shrubbery. According to my senpai, there's some nice mulberry trees, there's some nice mulberry bushes here, so we'll be getting some nice mulberries in the summer, as some snacks during the ride. And we continue on this all the way down to the Shonai River Park, which there actually is a small little cycling course there. I'll try and show that to you guys in a later video. And after that, we cut into the town right next to there. And that's pretty much where I'm working.
So here we got a turn to continue on the Shonai River path. We turn and go up this little hill here. This is pretty much one of the only few hills during my entire commute. And once we get to the top, we have the option to go left and continue on the Shonai River path. And that's actually the direction I went when I went to the immigration office here in Nagoya in another video a few that I did a couple months back. Uh, but we're actually going right. We're going to descend down towards the Shonai Park and go through the parking lot there. So after we descend, you can see here on the right, this is the cycling path. It's supposed to be a cycling path, but you really only see runners there, especially this time of day. There's not too many cyclists. Anyway, we're cutting through the parking lot here. Another interesting thing that you see during this commute here is this is actually a dog park. So these are small little fenced in areas there are dogs, where dogs can run freely. It's really, really small compared to dog park sizes like in the US, but every day, especially when I come back home, there's a ton of dogs in there, a ton of people out with their dogs. Well, on the sunny days only, on the rainy days, no one's there. And it's a little bit early right now, so no one's there yet. And after that, we've got another hill to go up here. So one of my last little hills, and after that, we cross this road, descend down, and this descent is also a little bit dangerous. Really narrow road, lots of cars trying to speed and get through here on their way to work, and cars trying to go both directions just ends up, and when cars are going both directions at the same time, it's just always a problem. One car has to wait for the other, and it just creates this big uh, sort of traffic jam. So I like this section here. It's kind of got that older Japan feel. Uh, but the roads are pretty narrow, which can be a problem when there is traffic. And there's always traffic in the morning on the morning commute to work. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my commute. I think I'm going to end things here since we're getting pretty close to my work. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. It really helps support the channel. And if you want to see more videos about cycling, life in Japan, leave a comment down below with what kind of content you'd like to see. And I'll see you guys next time here on 2 Cruise. Right on!